Welcome to my shower. Sorry if it sounds echoey, obviously, in the bathroom, so that's just gonna be the way it is. I was showering the other day and I thought, you know what, it has been a long time since I've shared what I'm currently using kind of in my shower routine. And I have a lot of maybe newer products to myself that I fell in love with recently and I don't really think I've talked a lot about here on my channel, so that's what we're gonna do today. I cleared out, okay, my husband's things and spread it out so it looks a little prettier. It usually has his stuff in here. So yes, he exists and you know, but I just kind of moved it to the side because A, I don't know if he wants me showing what he uses. I don't know that he cares, but either way, it just made it a little bit easier. Usually things are stacked and spread out differently. Not that you care, but in case you were curious, you know, <laughs> okay. We also do share a few things like face washes will share which I'll talk about. So I hope you subscribe if you're into this. I do beauty content like this. I also do vlogs and all kinds of things. I'd love to have you join the fam if you are into this video. I think, I think you will like some of the other ones. So, okay, let's start with, okay, can we start with the thing that is the newest to me and honestly was the impetus for this video because I am loving it so much. It's new from Naturium. It's their Booster Hyaluronic Acid Body Wash. So I love the giant pump it's got. It's a little bit more in, uh, it's a cheaper price range, right? Compared to some of the other body washes that I'm, well, I'm gonna talk about another one. And I love it, it's fragrance free. I feel like if you have more sensitive skin, you will love this. But even if you don't, it foams so nicely. Like it is just one of those body washes that the second I used it the first time, I was like, oh yeah, like this is, this is nice. I. Don't know if this is yet available at Target. I think I bought it on the Naturium website, but I will double check for you. The other body wash I also love is from Necessaire. This is one I've loved for quite a few years and I've gone through like three or four bottles of this. Um, this one is the scented one, Eucalyptus. They also, I love their fragrance free. I love the Eucalyptus scent though, I will say, because it smells like a spa. Like it smells exactly the way you would expect it really does smell good. So I am a big fan of both the Fragrance Free and the Eucalyptus. This is just the one I'm using right now, but love this as well. Again, I love this. I've, been, I've worked with Necessaire in the past. I'm not sponsored by Necessaire in this video. One of their big things that I love about this brand is that they're basically using facial grade skincare ingredients in your body care. And I think that is just amazing. Another one of theirs is their body exfoliator. Same thing, it's that same scent, Eucalyptus. Love this, love, love, love. It's just one of those that I'll just put right on my hands and just work into my skin. I feel like my keratosis pilaris has been a lot better since using a scrub like this. So big fan of that. And again, it's got that same spa-like smell. But another kind of more summery scrub I've been loving is the Tree Hut Coco Colada. This, I usually get their AHA scrub that I love. It's like called vitamin C, whatever. And that one I have repurchased on repeat, but this one got me because I love that kind of pina colada type smell. It smells incredible. Their scrubs are so good. I mean, Tree Hut makes every scent you could ever want, but if you want one that is going to transport you to the literal beach in your mind, in your shower, this is it. Like it is exactly the right smell is so good, you guys. Um, something I don't know that I would repurchase is the Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. It's not a bad product at all, but I've heard there's another mask from Amica that is maybe a little more moisturizing. I just felt like this does the minimum I expect a deep conditioning mask to do, and I find myself wanting a little bit more. So it's not bad. I just don't know that I would repurchase this exact one. Um, I think if you had like my hair has definitely been a little bit drier lately. If my hair weren't drier, I think this would be plenty. So I think it's just, you know, in the eye of the beholder who's using it. Another thing both Tyler and I have been sharing is the Tatcha Matcha <laughs> Cleanse. Just now, I'm, I'm just now realizing that's, that rhymes. This is just a gel cleanser. I like, gel cleansers are not usually my go-to, but there's something about a gel cleanser in the shower that I can really appreciate. And so I'll use this sometimes when I feel like my skin just needs that extra cleanse. The other thing I will use, I just realized I'll bring it into the shower and out of the shower because I also use it at the sink, are these two products. So this is my daily face wash, the La Roche-Posay hydrating facial cleanser. It is my go-to. They also sell it in a bigger size, like with the pump, if you're into that, which honestly I would prefer, but anyway. Then this is something I'm currently just trying. It's the Herborian Cleansing Oil. 
It's okay. It has a really strong scent and this scent for whatever reason, I'm just like, mm, I don't know, but it does a pretty good job of getting the makeup off. I don't think I would buy this again. This is not something I would need to have. I, there are other cleansing oils and cleansing balms I prefer, but I will say having a cleansing oil with a pump in your shower is so nice. So like if you're washing your face and you need your makeup off, it's just easy to do versus like getting a balm and get, digging your fingers into it, etc. It's just one less thing to do that with. So this has been my double cleanse. And if I'm not even wearing makeup, but I'm just wanting to wash my face, I use this one. Okay, my go-to shampoo and conditioner is this right here, the Kevin Murphy Repair Me Wash and the Repair Me Rinse. This I was introduced to at the salon that I go to and I, first of all, the smell is amazing but I absolutely love it. Like I barely need a detangler when I use just this standard conditioner. The tangles just rinse right out. It's safe for color treated hair. It is just one of the, well, I assume it is because she uses it on me and my hair is color treated. So anyway, point is that is a top, top, top favorite that like in the end, I ended up buying a liter of each of them because I love them so much. It can definitely get pricey. And like I said, I buy mine at the salon. I think you can maybe buy it online. I'm not totally certain. If I can find it, I'll link it below, but you guys, it is like, it is the next level shampoo and conditioner. Like nothing I've tried from Sephora or any of those expensive brands has compared to that. Another thing I got at the salon is the Keep My Color Blonde Shampoo, just for the bits that I have. Now listen, we've got dirty hair today. And honestly, I feel like it's looking a little brassy, but when I actually use this regularly, and I'll leave it on for a few minutes, it is, completely different like this looks so much less brassy right away and it'll last you know until my next wash so well usually like a day or two point is it actually works i'm very skeptical this is all new to me i hadn't touched my hair's color until like two years ago so this is like a world i don't understand i'm sure a lot of you guys could school me in a lot of this stuff but it actually works so this is the 11 australia Keep My Color Blonde Shampoo. One that I actually haven't used in a while, but I did think it did a good job is the Kristen S. Clarifying Shampoo. So a lot of times if I'm doing the deep conditioning mask, I'll use a clarifying shampoo first, get all the buildup, the gunk, the dry shampoo, everything out of my hair, then go in with a deeper conditioner. I don't know if this is okay to use with like color in your hair. And that's why I kind of stopped. So I just need to look into it. Maybe one of you guys know for sure. It does say deep clean clarifying. Um, it's free of parabens, phthalates, and silicone. So anyway, I don't know. You let me know if you know, but I'm gonna do a little research myself, but it does really clarify. So if you're looking for a good one, this you can get at Target and I think it is really great. Okay, the other thing that I have loved for years and years and years is the Tree Hut Shaving Oil. This is the watermelon scent, which has been really fun for summertime, you know, it smells really good. Typically I get like their coconut and lime one. They have a vanilla one, but I'm not a big fan of that vanilla scent. I'm waiting for the day they make an unscented one because this is one of those products I'm like, I don't need it to have a scent. It's, I'm shaving with it, you know what I mean? I'd rather it be fragrance free, but this, if you are still using a foam, a shaving oil, you will get a closer shave. It's easy to use, like you put it on and I'm, I'm never even worried about what's rinsed off because it just moisturizes that whole area so well that it makes shaving easy. It's just like changed my life. I have not gone back since starting this like five years ago. My razor is the Billy razor. I have just stuck with that for years. I just get the refills. Um, I think I recently saw that they sell the refills in store too. So you don't even have to do like a subscription type thing the way it used to only be. And I like it. I've not really had an issue with it. So I've just stuck with it. And then these little holders are like flexible and they're from Amazon and they just stick on. So I've got my husband's razor and mine. The other thing I did want to mention is the shower cap. I think it's still being made. It's called like the shh shower cap. <laughs> and the idea is that it's the water, you know, when water hits a traditional shower cap, it's literally loud. This it's, it's not loud like that. And I know that sounds dumb, but the other thing is it is a really, really well-made shower cap. I have had this for so many years. I actually should probably wash it now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, that's the brand. So hopefully this still exists, um, but it's elastic in the back and then just really tight on your face with like a rubber thing. So it really does keep your hair dry. Like it's just one of those things that's an elevated shower cap, but it is so nice. And I will probably live the rest of my life and never need to buy a shower cap again. And if you have not joined the shower cap life, like if you, you know, you can shower every day without having to wash your hair. I know most of you guys are like, duh, Jess. 
But man, the day I like bought one of those and like actually, although that might've been sent to me years ago. I'm going around in circles. It, it was a lot, I've had that for like seven or eight years. Okay, I think that's everything. I hope that you enjoyed. I know this was like a, a kind of abnormal video for me, at least filming in the shower is a little more abnormal but it felt right to do it in here versus like collect the products and then go sit somewhere else and talk about it. But I'm sure the echo annoyed you. I feel like I'm annoying myself in here. So hopefully it was bearable. But yeah, like I said earlier, I hope you subscribe, stick around, come say hey to me over on my Instagram. It is it's Jessica Braun over there, B-R-A-U-N. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you made it to the end, put three little like soap, soap little emojis down in a comment so I know you actually watch it to the end. I appreciate it so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.